Hi, I'm Lindsay Baumgren of Nourish Move Love, and this is your shoulder workout just using dumbbells at home. If you love at-home strength training, hit subscribe to our YouTube channel, or better yet, hit that join button and join our YouTube community. All right, you guys, we are coming at you with seven of the best dumbbell shoulder exercises you can do at home. All you need are some dumbbells, and this is a refilm of one of our most popular workouts. It's a shoulder workout. You guys loved it. We're redoing it, throwing in some new moves, changing from reps to timed intervals. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and I have the awesome Rachel. Hi. She's gonna be joining today and showing some modifications along the way. If you need them and you wanna stay standing for the entire workout, follow Rachel. All you're gonna need are some weights. We have anywhere from 10 to 20 pound dumbbells, all right? This was a workout that we had shot a couple years ago and we are refilming it. We have some new shoulder exercises for you. We're sticking to seven moves and it looks like this. You have seven exercises. We're gonna go in strict set format. That means you're gonna do the move and you're gonna do it again. So it's back to back moves, all right? You're gonna do each exercise for 40 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest. So it's short rest time, but then I'm gonna give you 20 seconds of rest between moves to shake things out. You ready for a bolder it's shoulder gonna workout? It's gonna burn. <laughs> these workouts, these isolation workouts always burn, but you guys love them and you keep coming back. In fact, I think Sarah said she loves our isolation workouts where we're targeting one muscle group. Okay, that's what this is. Sarah, this is for you. We are targeting just your shoulders. All right, get ready to feel those shoulders work. You ready, Rach? Let's go. Okay, before we get started, let's get these shoulders nice and warm. So we're gonna start. We're gonna take our hands behind. Actually, let's just go big inhale up. Exhale, baby back bend. From here, take the hands behind the head, right here. Okay, so you're gonna start right here, elbows relax. Now squeeze the shoulder blades together. Okay, elbows flex back. Hands come out to the side, palms face me. Flip your palms to the wall behind you. Rotate them behind your back, palms stay facing away. Bring it back here, flip the palms back to the head. I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Ready, activate those shoulder blades, squeeze them back. Arms come out, palms flip back to the back. Here, flip the palms to the head. Here we go. Squeeze, reach, flip, rotate. Here, flip. One more, one more. Squeeze, reach, flip, rotate. Back, center. Nice. From here, just drop those hands down. Thumbs are up. We're going to go for some hitchhiker arm circles back right here. Just think about spreading those chest apart. This entire workout, I want to think about keeping my neck and shoulders nice and relaxed, creating distance from ear to shoulders the entire time, right? Not getting up here, just letting it relax. Okay, we're really going to work those shoulders. Go four, three, two, and one. From here, you're just going to go hands right here all the way, like you're drawing a big circle with your arm, big rotation up and down. Man, do you already feel your shoulders? I literally was just <laughs> thinking that. I was like, you don't even need dumbbells. Right? You can do this entire thing with just your body weight and your shoulders are gonna burn. Nice, two more. Up, down, last one. Up, down, let's take it all the way up. This time we're gonna go for those sweeps, so just swip, big alternating sweeps to the back. Nice, warming up those shoulder joints. Go four, three, switch directions in two. And one, swim it forward, swim, swim, swim. There we go, go four, go three. I'm gonna go to the back of my space, two, and one. We're gonna go for some plank walkouts, so hands hit the mat, walk out, find a high plank. Let's walk it back in, stand up tall, big reach overhead, two more just like that. Take it out, walk it out, warming up those shoulders, warming up that core. Core is gonna be super active throughout this entire workout. One more, this time hold your plank. Hold your plank, just hold it here. Nice wide base with the feet or take it to the knees. Shoulder taps, opposite hand, opposite shoulder. Eight, seven, six, you got it. Five, four, three, two, one. From here, push up and back. Down dog, nice work. You're just gonna rotate. Down dog, high plank. Down dog, high plank. Nice work. Down dog, high plank. Two more. Down dog, high plank. Last one. Down dog. High plank, drop down to the knees. You're gonna find tabletop position, all fours. I'm gonna take those knees a little bit wider. I'm gonna take my left forearm to the ground right here. Right hand, palm goes up towards the ceiling. We're gonna go for a little T-spine, thoracic spine rotation. So I'm gonna open that shoulder, gaze is gonna follow. Nice, bring it back down to center. Exhale, open. Can you get a little bit more open as you rotate with each one? Last one right here. Open and switch it out. Here we go, right arm down. Left hand, palm up towards that ceiling. Open, take it down. Two more, two more. Exhale, open. Right back down. Last one. Exhale, open. 
back down, walk it in. Nice little cat cow action. All right, you're gonna drop the belly, lift the chin, reverse it, spine goes up towards the ceiling, chin tucks the chest, reverse it, drop the belly, one more. Nice, come back, find a nice neutral spine. This is where you're gonna wanna be throughout this entire workout, okay? From here, my hips are gonna stay high and I'm gonna walk my hands away from my body. Nice puppy dog stretch here. Think about dropping your armpits down towards the mat. Okay, I love doing this puppy dog stretch to create that nice extension overhead. Anytime we're gonna push overhead, which we're gonna do today, we have some narrow presses, we have some Arnold presses. Just really wanna get that full extension overhead. Release that tension in the spine. Right here, you can just let the belly just drop. And then we're gonna come up to a kneeling position and we're gonna find that really active belly, okay? So where we're gonna wanna be for this entire workout, right here, think punch to the gut, ribs to hips. This is where I'm gonna wanna be locked out for the entire workout, yes, as I'm pushing overhead. Nice, bring yourself up to a standing position and let's get this party started. You ready, Rach? Let's go. All right, we're gonna start with some internal, external rotation. This is a new move we are adding from the original workout because this is super important. Anyone that's got rotator cuff issues, you know this. Okay, so we're gonna start with the dumbbell in the right hand. We're gonna do four rounds of this. 40 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You're gonna do it twice on the right arm, twice on the left arm, okay? Elbows at my side, palms gonna face my belly, and then I'm gonna rotate here to 90 and come back, right? We're gonna do that for 40 seconds, warming up that shoulder joint. Yes, we go in three, two, let's go. So rotate, rotate, bring it back. Nice, rotate and back. This is just slow and controlled, all right? Just going for some external rotation right here, okay? You can even place your hand on the shoulder and you can feel that moving, right? You can do this with a resistance band. External rotation, just really great for our, our rotator cuff, for our shoulders. Great way to warm up right here. Nice. Build strength, okay? You don't have to go crazy heavy here. I'm using a 10-pound weight. Nice work. Just a good way to start this workout. If we're gonna start about talking about strengthening the shoulders, the shoulder joint, this is a key move. We go three, two, and one. Nice, you're gonna rest for 10, switch it out. We'll go to the left arm. Then we'll go back to the right and back to the left. Two times on each side, okay? Lock that elbow in. We go in three, two, let's go. So open, rotate back in, nice. Again, the entire time you're working, I want you to think about that really active core, okay? So I like to think soft bend in my knees, spread that mat apart underneath me that instantly engages my core and my glutes. I'm thinking tuck ribs to hips, especially when we get to those overhead pressing movements. Nice work. Engaging that shoulder. Again, you can place your hand on that shoulder. You wanna feel it working. Nice, if you've ever had a shoulder injury, you've done several of these in your PT. Nice work. I love building this into the workout then. You know? Yeah. Something that's good for all parts of your shoulder. Right, and something we often don't take time to stop and do. Exactly. The older I get, the more I build these moves in. Three, <laughs> two, and one. We're gonna go back to that right arm, right? We all about, the reason we are here is because we wanna be strong and injury free, right? We go in three. Two and one, that's just my number one goal. Especially after my knee injury, I've been like, my goals in life are to be strong and injury free so I can like run with my kids, easily carry groceries in, easily get my baby out of his crib, carry him around on my hip while I'm cooking dinner. Like, those are my life goals right now. <laughs> Some of you might have a lot bigger goals. You might be training for an Iron Man, you know, something crazy like that. That's awesome too, right? We're all in a different season of life. Wherever you're at, you can take this workout, make it work for you. You can always add weights. You can come back to this, go up in weights. 10 seconds, team. Nice work here. Awesome job. We're gonna switch arms in five, four, three, two, and relax. Okay, here we go. You're gonna go up and over to that left arm. Last time, 90 degree bend, okay? And then we're moving on, moving on. Here we go, three, two. Let's go, core stays nice and tight. Just opening right up there. Right here, no need to overextend. Just come right here, boom. Nice. Awesome work, you guys. Right here, I know this is one of those moves that kind of seems like a boring exercise, an important exercise. Sometimes boring is important and we have to do it, that's why you're here. I don't do these on my own a lot. Do it first. So right, it, yeah, knock it out. First, knock it out. Get it done, move on to the rest of the fun stuff. We're gonna go overhead presses, so think about the weight. You wanna be pushing overhead in a narrow press, that's where we're gonna go. Here we go, 10 seconds. Nice work. I'm gonna move up from this 10 pound to my 15 pounds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, so I'm gonna set that 10 pound down. I'm gonna go up to my 15s here, see how I can hang. We are gonna go narrow press, which means palms are gonna face in right here. Just exhale up, inhale down, okay? It's a narrow press. 
If you start to fatigue, you can always alternate the arms. You could give me a little two inch dip with the knees and drive, use a little bit of the legs. Let's start focusing on just the shoulder. So try to take that dip out. A strict narrow press, you're gonna do it back to back. We go, 40 seconds in three, two, let's go exhale, push. Okay, this is where we're pressing overhead. It's where we tend to get that rib flare as I push overhead, really think. Okay, tuck that tailbone, ribs to hips, punch to the gut. Pack it down, shoulders pack down. Shh. Full extension at the top, elbows lock out, boom. Lower with control, push, elbows lock out, boom. Lower with control, come on. Shh. This is where the faces are gonna start to get ugly, right? <laughs> Close eyes. Close eyes, grit your teeth. make a lot more noises, you know. Right? But... Shh. Shh. Keep moving, 10 seconds, guys. Shh. Let's go. It's five, four, three. Two weights are down. Woo, quick 10 seconds, quick 10 seconds. We're just gonna do this, we're gonna shake. We're gonna pick them back up. You can alternate if you need to, you're back on. In three, in two, these strict sets, holy bananas, let's go up. Come on, strict sets, short rest. The longer rest is on the other side. You're only doing each move twice. Back to back, Shh. starts to get hard. Give me that two inch dip, drive, option, alternate, Shh. alternate. Ah. Oh. I'm gonna alternate until I get to the last 10 seconds and I'm gonna double them up. Shoulders are on fire already. Move two. Let's go, team. <laughs> you got it. Come on. 10 seconds. Time to double it up. Let's Come on. Go. 10, 9, let's go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah, holy bananas. Woo! Ah, shoulders. Already feeling it, okay. Upright row, front raise. I'm gonna try and stick with my 15s. Might have to drop here. Upright row. Palms are gonna face my body. Roll the shoulders down and back. One upright row, right into one front raise. I'm gonna alternate my front raise, that's hard. I wanna go heavier for the upright row, so I'm gonna go upright row, raise right, upright row, raise left. That's what I'm gonna do, yes? You can double up both of them. Do what works for you, it's 40 seconds. Roll the shoulders down and back, stop bending the knees. Three, create length. Remember, don't come to the upright row here. Upright row, create length in that neck. Three, two, let's go. I'm gonna go front raise right, just right up to shoulder height, okay? Biggest thing here, both of these moves, is that we get up to the top and then we let those weights just fall down. No, no, control, control, control on the down. Lift, here we go, get to shoulder height. Now control it down, slow, slower is harder. Lower is harder, yes? Strength training, come on, come on, come on. One of the best things you can do to improve your strength is to slow down exercises. Really hit that form, really hit that eccentric motion. That's the way down, that's where the muscle building is gonna happen. Come on, let's go, five seconds, come on. Yes, you can, yes, you can. Three, two, one, nice work. Set them down again, shake it out, jog it off. You're back in, in five, Woo. short rest. Let's go, three. Two, let's go. I'm gonna stick to that alternating pattern. Right here I go right, come on. Go for that double upright row, single arm front raise. Nice work, here we go, double upright row. Shh. Again, you can always double these up if you got lighter weights. Yes, you can, woo! Shoulder day, shoulder day, come on. Shh. You guys have been asking for this one for a while too. <laughs> we should say we've been putting it off maybe. We were a little scared. Uh -huh. Not my favorite workout to film, I'm just gonna be totally honest. But you guys asked for it. So here we are, giving you what you asked for. Don't blame me, blame you. Come on, five, four, three. Give me one more upright row, one more front raise. Two, come on, finish it. One, whew, rest 20. How are we holding up? How are we holding up? Whew, that's three moves down, right? Three, okay? We got seven to go, so we got seven total. Seven, seven total. All right, here we go. We're gonna go a lat raise as we did that front raise. Now we're gonna go lat raise. I'm gonna go alternating again, because I wanna stick with these 15 pounds. So you can double them up. I'm gonna alternate, okay? I'm gonna alternate and grab those weights. Lifting out to the side, roll the shoulders down and back in. Three, two, let's go. Now I'm thinking about lifting out to more of a 45 degree angle, not straight out. I'm thinking lead with my pinky. Lead with my pinky, lower with control. Lead with my pinky, lower with control. I'm gonna show you from the side so you can see where I'm lifting, not going straight out. A little bit more 45, a little bit gentler on the shoulder, right? More natural pattern for the shoulder right there. Still very hard. I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite shoulder moves though. I like this one I do too. love this exercise. I do like this one. 
reach, even though it's hard. Come on. Stay with me right here. Nice work, guys. Five, four, three, two. Set them down, shake. Woo, 10 seconds. Shake, shake, shake. What we call? Shake and bake? I don't know. Shake and yeah. shoulder. Here we go, you're back on. Shake and In shoulder. three, <laughs> two. One, my shoulders are shaking. That 10 second rest is really short with these back to back moves. You're basically doing 80 seconds. And the strict sets, like that's a fun back to back. True strength. You know? Yeah, we have a strict set arm workout done in triceps, so you do three sets of each move, but you change the muscle group. Right here, we're sticking with the same muscle group, so we only are doing two sets. But you guys loved it. Strict sets. Actually, in the original, we'll link the original shoulder workout. It was seven moves. Some are the same, some are different. 10 seconds here. But we did reps, so we did 10 reps of each move. Now we're going timed intervals. Five, four, three, you gotta finish. Two, one. Oh, holy bananas. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna drop my weights, grab some water, and I'm gonna go a little bit lighter for move five. I'm gonna go back to my tens. Dumbbell punches, we didn't have this in the original. But every time I do dumbbell punches, I'm like, I feel strong. And it's really a good shoulder exercise. It's gonna be hard. <laughs> so you're gonna get them up. You're just gonna punch, punch, punch. Slow, methodical punches. Slow, methodical punches, okay? As you extend that dumbbell away from your body, it gets harder, okay? Here we go. Ready? 40 seconds, Rach. Let's do it. We go in three, get them up. In two. Let's go, knock it out. Boom, boom, Shh. boom. Nice, just pressing that weight out. Straight out, Shh. palms are facing in. Shh. Little shoulder punches. It's so crazy. We did something similar in the chest workout where we had the dumbbells together. Yep. It's so crazy how you change a little thing and it works a different muscle, right? Yeah, if you put those dumbbells and you press them together, then you're pushing in, you're getting a little bit more chest, okay? Getting more shoulder here. I truly started adding these to my workouts when I hurt my knee and I was doing a lot of seated workouts. Ah, and I just love them. Keeping them. 10, come on. Yes, you can. Stay with me here for five, four, three, two, you're out. Woo! Set them down. Shake it out. All right, how are we doing? One more time. Crazy arms. One more time. Here we go. Pick them up. Rest for 10. Do it again. Rest for 10. Do it again. Let's go. Boom, boom, come on. Shh. I really like that you only have to do each move twice though, right? I can mentally wrap my head around that. If you made me do a third set of this, I'd be done. I'd be out. I tap out. Come on. Shh. Ah. Move five of seven. Shh. It's hard, but it's so <laughs> hard. Rest for one. There you go. Two, three, get back in. If you need to rest, you take three seconds and you get back in. 10 seconds here, guys, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah! 10 pounds, never felt so stinking heavy. Okay, we're gonna go down to the ground for the last two moves, okay? You're actually gonna go and do these moves back to back. We had one of these moves in the original workout and you loved it, so we had to bring it back. It is a single arm. I'm gonna bring my, I'm gonna bring all the weights. 10, 15, 20, I don't know how I'm feeling. It is our last moves. So I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna use a knee pad because I have my little baby knees post-surgery. Okay, Rachel's gonna stay standing for you guys if you wanna stay standing. Single arm, I'm gonna try and start with 15s. Single arm, we'll go lefties, yeah, left arm. This one's for my lefties. Half kneeling, right knee is up, dumbbells in the left hand. Single arm, Arnold press, so palm starts here, rotates out. Okay, now note, you're only gonna do each side once, yes? Okay, so you're just gonna do the left arm once. You're gonna go right from that into a popular move, hinge swing and press. Hinge, swing, push. That was in the original workout. You guys loved it, so we had to bring it back to you. Yes, one of our people commented and they said, I love that hinge swing move. So I said, I'm gonna keep it in here just for you, okay? All right, here we go. Arnold press, Arnold press. Here we go, left arm up, palm faces in, in three, two, let's go, 40 seconds. Shh, rotate, so you're taking right here, do that full range of motion, hitting all four heads of the shoulder. Nice, palm faces in, palm goes out. Here we go, palm faces in. Rotates out, nice. Rotating through all heads of that shoulder muscle. I'm gonna stick with this 15, yes I can. You only gotta do each side once. I'm going down to my knees, which is really taking the legs out of the equation, really isolating that shoulder muscle. Come on, come on, yes you can, let's go. Come on, 10 seconds here guys, 10 seconds. Get it up, get it up, get it up. Come on, five, four, three, two, 
And one, rest. Woo! I'm gonna try my 20. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna yeah, try it. it. I'm gonna see how much I can do. Finish strong, right? Hinge, swing, single arm press. Hinge, swing in three, in two. Let's go. Hinge, rack, push. Oh, I don't know about this 20. <laughs> I'm gonna get five. I'm gonna do five of them at the 20. Three. Come on, Lindsay. You don't know unless you try. That's good. Four. Challenge yourself today, guys. Nice. Five. Drop down. Woo! All right, here we go. Now I'm back to 15. You do you, right? Always good to challenge yourself. That's what we're here to do. We are here to push you. We're here to make you stronger individuals. One workout at a time. Just keep showing up and press and play. Come on, right here. Finish. Five, four, three, two. You're out. Nice work. You're going to switch sides. Those same two moves on the other side, and that's it. You are out of here, guys. Okay? Here we go. Right knee on the mat, left knee up, dumbbell, right hand facing palm right here. 40 seconds. Let's go. Three, two, let's go. Single arm Arnold press. Rotate in. Take it all the way up and push. Right here. This is how you build strong boulder shoulders. The Arnold press. The boulder shoulder. The boulder shoulder workout. Shaky shoulders. We could come up with so many different names for this. We could get really creative. Here. We could get so creative. You know what I think about shredded all the time? shoulders. Shredded shoulders. I see you with your babies, lifting them in the air, pressing them up. And I'm like, having kids is a natural shoulder workout, I feel Constant like. Constant arm workout. My biceps, I'm th three kids. I feel like my biceps look the best they ever have. I mean, I'm just constantly holding someone in an isometric hold all day long. Five, four, three, two. Give me one more. Oh, it's going to hurt. Ah, woo. Okay, I got to do five at the 20, and then I can drop down. <laughs> Here we go. Right? Here we go. You gotta, you gotta match that other arm. Okay, this is it, guys. Last 40 seconds together right here. Finish strong. We're on in three, in two, in one. Hinge, swing. One, two. Come on, come on. What's your goal today? What's your goal? Mine's to get to five with the 20. Next time I'll come back and I'm gonna get to six with the 20. Oh, there's my five. Here we go. Keep moving. Let's go, team. Keep challenging yourself every day. Stronger comes through. Consistency, consistency compounds. Let's go. 10 seconds. Oh, you're almost there. Light at the end of the tunnel. Light at the end of the tunnel. Five, four, three, two, one. There's the light. There it you are is. done. We made it. Woo! Weights go off to the side. I am so stinking proud of you. Grab some water. Do a low five to your neighbor. We're not lifting our arms no, above our no head hair today. today. No hair washing. <laughs> low five to your neighbor. Let's stretch it out, guys, okay? Whew. Let's just do that. Whew. Just give me some of these. Yeah? Feels good to be done, right? Feels good to be Check done. Check it off. Check it off. Here we go. We're gonna go for some neck rolls. Just take your hands right here to your side. Just roll your neck side to the side. Shoulder, ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder. Roll it. Nice, hold. Right ear, right shoulder. Right arm comes up. Nice little gentle stretch right here. Take that left hand, wrap it around. Palm's gonna face out again, okay? We're opening up the neck, the trap, the shoulder. Nice, nice. Whew, that feels good, especially after this workout. Yes, hold for three, two, one. Gently release, nice. Take that left arm across the body, drop the shoulder, gaze over the shoulder. Nice, take it back. Same thing, other side. Go back to those neck rolls. Nice. Hold left ear, left shoulder. Option, left hand, gentle little pull. Right arm wraps around, palm faces away from the body. Nice neck and trap stretch on the other side. Awesome job. Opening up that ear to shoulder. Hold here for three, two, one. Nice work. Take that right arm, cross the body. Gaze over that right shoulder as that right shoulder drops down. So proud of you guys. So proud of you guys. Nice work. Woo, flap those wings. Let's go for a nice little chest expansion just because it's going to feel good. Take the knuckles, hold them away from the tailbone, open up the chest, open up the shoulders. You absolutely crushed this workout. I am so stinking proud of you. If you want more isolated upper body moves or lower body moves, we've got you covered. Hit subscribe to that YouTube channel and we're going to see you back on the mat. Have a great day. Thanks so much for crushing shoulders with me today. If you loved it, hit subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want another isolated upper body workout, check out this one right here. Or you can find all of our upper body workouts in this playlist right here. Have a great day.